In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a comparison of my budget PC builds. I have uh, three Xeon processors we're gonna be comparing and seeing what uh, performance each one is capable of, respectively. I have a E5450 771 processor and a 775 gigabyte motherboard. I also have an E3 1230 in a ASRock motherboard running at uh, 3.2 gigahertz with a 3.6 boost. And lastly, I have my rendering rig running dual X5570s at 2.93 gigahertz with a boost to 3.33. Uh, so it will be kind of interesting. But the reality is most people who are going to buy these budget processors are going to install them in the board and not mess with it. Uh, since it can't be overclocked, it can't be really tweaked too much. You're pretty much going to put it in the computer and let it run. Uh, that's why we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the three at similar clock speed. This is not going to be an exact benchmark because the other components are going to be different in each case uh, between the RAM, the SSDs, and other uh, aspects of the system, but it should give an idea of what you can achieve at respective price points. Uh, so it will be interesting to see how the performance is different between them. What I'm especially interested in seeing is the difference in speed between my wife's uh, rig when I first did my videos and the new $240 Z600 uh, Hewlett Packard rendering station. All right, let's take a look at the benchmarks. <music> real-world scenarios, Handbrake is able to take advantage of the 16 threads available to it, putting in a render time of 10 seconds compared to the 8-threaded render time of 18 seconds and the 4-threaded render time of 23 seconds, respectively. price comparison is in today's dollars, not including hard drive or GPU. Uh, these are rounded numbers. For the Hewlett Packard, I basically took the price shipped and divided it into equal parts. When comparing the cost of the Z600 rig versus the older gaming PC, uh, it's clear that there is much better performance in the newer hardware. Uh, at a great price at $259 versus $242 respectively. So what do we learn from this exercise? Uh, the original reason I purchased this computer was to decrease my render times in Corel Video Studio X9. It failed miserably at that. However, I would still recommend it as a powerful machine for programs that are able to take advantage of its power and, and it'll be interesting to see how it performs in the gaming videos to come. So stay tuned for those. Uh, once again, I want to thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please hit a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, we'll be seeing you when we take a look at these three computers compared in their gaming performance. So be, be on the lookout for that in the days to come. Once again, thank you and goodbye.